So I'm here on Kali Linux and it's time to hack around. But hold on, let me try something first. Oh, Google knows I'm Switzerland, so every website I access will know too. But man, I have client permission and I am within the scope, so it's all good, right? Well, unless you don't mind having your home IP address end up in some block list like this one. And then when you are trying to browse the internet or watch some YouTube, you get a lot of... Okay, I'll select the motorcycle here, but what about the rider's body? Do I select that one too? Alright, there are some in the back, so fine. And this biker's head here, does this even count? Oh no, not again! Well, to avoid these issues, Kali already comes with proxy chains pre-installed, which can help you hide your location, making you appear to be somewhere else. And that's what I'm going to show you how to configure on this video. First, in the terminal, we need to find proxy chain, so type locate proxy chains. Then copy this first line that shows up and we will edit that file. My favorite editor is Vim, so I will type sudo vim. And if you prefer nano or any other editor, just go ahead and use that. And then paste the file location we just copied. Then type your sudo password. And now we are faced with these four options to run proxy chains. And I will take the chance to explain each one a bit. In these examples, we have three proxy servers configured. The first option is dynamic chain. It basically connects you to the first proxy in the list, then to the second, then to the third, and only then the request reaches the web server. That's basically done to make it harder to trace you. In other words, it becomes very difficult for someone at the destination server to track you through all those proxies. Strict chains works the same way as dynamic chain, but the difference is that strict chain, if any proxy server is down, you can't connect. In dynamic chain, it will skip the one that's down. Then we have rod robin chain and random chain. These don't necessarily use all the proxies in the list for each request. It depends on the chain length variable. In this example, I set it to two, meaning each request will use two proxy servers from the list. Later, I'll show you in the config file where this variable is. With broad robin, the next request starts with the proxy server that ended the previous request, and it cycles through the list in the order you set. Random chain is random. It picks the number of proxy servers you specify in chain lane, and the first one is randomly chosen from the list, then the second, and so on. Now, back to the config file. You can only have one option enabled. In this example, I'm using only one proxy server, so it doesn't really matter. I will leave dynamic chain. And here is the chain line I mentioned. If you use rod robin chain or random chain, make sure you uncomment this line and set how many servers you want per request. And guys, it's also super important to leave the proxy DNS line uncommented. If it stays commented out, it's still pretty easy to find your real location. So make sure to leave this uncommented. Then we just add the proxy servers as shown here. There is already a SOX4 proxy added, which is for using Tor with proxy chains. If you want to learn how to configure proxy chains with Tor, check out my video Must Do Kali Linux Setup. Configure before you start, link in the description. Because here I'm not going to use Tor, I will use a public and free proxy server. To find one of those, you can just Google for free proxy servers. I'm using this site, Spice1, which has a bunch of servers. But guys, to be honest with you, a lot of these free servers don't work very well, so you have to try a few. I will pick this one from Hong Kong. By the time you see this video, this server probably won't be working anymore, and you need a different one. Since it's a HTTP server, I will write HTTP here, paste the IP and port, but I need to remove the colon and put a space instead. Now in Vin, I press escape, then colon, wq, exclamation mark and enter to save and exit this file and guys to run anything with proxy chains you always need to put the proxy chains command before actual command in this case i will test it with firefox so i type proxy chains firefox hit enter now let's see where i am and it worked i am in hong kong and now that i'm here i will take another peek with the bruce lee statue with that beautiful view of victoria harbor Guys, if you like this content, remember to like this video to support the channel, subscribe, turn on notifications, and see you next video.